Hello, Mr. Nygren here. So you're back in Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, which is the expansion pack for Diablo 2. So the game released in 2000 and the expansion pack released in 2001. You're playing the Andariel mod, so of course she's a one of the seven, I believe, characters you can play as. There are five playable characters in Diablo 2. Sorceress, Paladin, Barbarian, a Necromancer, and an Amazon. And then there were an expansion a year later which added a Druid and the Assassin. And we are using the Endarial mod. So it's the Monster Stat mod which allows the player to use the Horatic Cube in a way that you can create your own charms that will transform you into monsters. So you can change the appearance of the character when you are in the game. If you, if you use the cube you can use different recipes to create different charms and uh, these charms can transform the character into anyone from Istral to Baal to Mephisto to Duriel to Andariel to Diablo himself or to the three barbarians that you face in the fifth act or you can even uh, uh, create charms that create uh, duplicates of other characters. So for example, you can play the Amazon and look like a sorceress, for example. Or play the Barbarian with the Amazon attacks. Uh, but anyway, <coughs> uh, this is the Andariel mod. So we are using a charm which will make this Amazon look like Andariel. And I've named the character Andariel too. We are at level 18. We should uh, be at level 17 based on the previous episode when we finished the seventh, uh, uh, the seventh quest uh, Radom and Slayer I played this game just now for, for 58 minutes but unfortunately the ba Bandicam recorder did a poor job of recording so I couldn't record Diablo 2 unfortunately uh, it recorded the first minute or two and then everything went black uh, unfortunately, th this meant that the movie was unwatchable. I couldn't upload it to YouTube. It failed, and I couldn't process the video in in any movie program either. Uh, it had all my uh, voice uh, speak uh, speaking the entire time, so so my voice was recorded, but but not the screen, and the sound of the sc the the screen was recorded too. So in in other words, it it recorded my voice and it recorded the sound of the game but it didn't record the actual uh, game uh, so we had to start all over so I wasted one hour pretty much uh, I, I recorded Dragon Ball C Tenkichi Tag Team first three hours ago uh, and uh, for some reason the sound became too low in the video uh, it was loud enough for me to hear it clearly when I played but then in the video it was very low so you could hardly hear it even on maximum sound uh, and the same issue was in One Piece Grand Battle for the PlayStation 1 so Dragon Ball Tenkaichi Tag Team is for the PlayStation Portable and One Piece Grand Battle is for the PlayStation 1 and I played One Piece after for one hour 58 or 56 minutes something like that and I had the same issue with the sound but at least the video worked and my voice worked and then I played after one piece I played uh, this game as an Ariel for, for 58 minutes uh, and leveled her up from level 17 to level 18 so we have leveled up and we have added some new skills we found some new gear and such uh, and I did everything that should be done to get the Horatic Cube of course with this character we already have the cube because it was uh, necessary before starting this mod so in other words I, I created a level 1 Amazon then I gave her the cube uh, through a editor because I needed a cube in order to create the I, I added the monster stat mod and the Andrade mod and then combined the mods which required some editing of text files to combine both mods into the same mod because they are two different mods and I combined the monster stat mod which I just described that 
allows you to create charms that can change your looks to any of the playable characters or uh, many of the monsters and bosses. And then there is the other mod that uh, was an unfinished and aerial skill tree which added her attacks and such. And I combine those so we, we get both the looks of Andaria and the attacks. And uh, <coughs> of course in order to get her looks I needed to create that charm. And in order to, to create that charm I needed to follow a certain recipe and I needed the Horrider Cube. So I used the editor to give myself the Horrider Cube at the start of the game. So we've already done that part of the quest. Uh, but I still killed every monster in the in the I believe stony stony waste and in, in the stony keep and in the halls of the damned which is the temple where you get the cube. And now we need to replay all that because for some reason Bandicam failed to record. I tried CD recorder too and this time I didn't um, want the same thing to happen. So I checked if it recorded after a few minutes, after one minute or so and, and it didn't. So now I'm using the Shadow Play recorder. It worked when I restarted the computer. So sometimes the Shadow Play recorder works still, but sometimes it won't work. But now it works, and I know this one will record. The problem is that it doesn't record single videos, so I might have to, uh, to process the videos in Filmora, because they might become many. But we'll see. Uh, by the way, I, I need to uh, temporarily move out of, of the tab out and check the game that, uh, that the video has been um, recording because uh, in, in the Bandicam recording it worked fine in this screen and then I clicked OK to start the game and instead of loading up as it showed on the screen it became a black screen and then the sound worked and everything but not the screen so, so I don't want that to happen again. So we'll join the game now. We are in the game as an Ariel so now the screen would be black. Uh, with Bandicam, so I need to temporarily go out and see if that happened again or if it actually worked. Then we will return, so I will replay everything that I did earlier today and then I will also do the rest of that quest. I believe it's the, the Horadric Staff, search the halls of the dead under the dry hills for the cubes. We killed everyone until we reached the halls of the dead and then we killed everyone there as well. But we already had the cube, so we didn't get it, of course. Uh, then after that, we are supposed to search the maggot lair under the far oasis for the shaft, and search the claw viper temple for the headpiece. So I, I want to finish the entire quest. Uh, we also received the, the quest, the seven tombs, from uh, from the leader of this place, uh, Lutgolain. We need to speak to him again because. Uh, yeah, the, the, the recorded material wasn't recorded. Okay, see you soon. Alright, good news, it worked, but unfortunately now we have two video files at least. So I will have to process this video. It won't be as good quality because of it. But we are using the Shadow Play recorder now, the NVIDIA Shadow Play recorder, which followed with the graphics card. The problem with it is that uh, the latest uh, update can't be installed on my Windows 7 and uh, sometimes instead of starting up the pro program it, uh, it, it usually starts up when starting the computer but sometimes something is wrong and I can't actually start it up for some reason because it says I need to restart the computer instead of actually starting the Please state your business. Let's speak to Yerhin. He gave me the final quest. Seven tombs. It is well known that there are seven great Horadric tombs hidden beneath the sands in the furthest reaches of the desert. One of them surely must be Talrasha's prison. You must explore each of the tombs to find Talrasha's exact location. Of course, Diablo is searching for the tomb as well. No one can guess as to what terrors he has unleashed in his search. Okay. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jaren, Lord of Lut Golain. And I bid you welcome to my fair port city. I'm glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Strange, it all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, Keeper of Baal, is entombed, 
but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs, and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. I've ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. Go see her immediately. You'll find her on the other side of town. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can't invite you in. Things are rather a mess right now. Right. <coughs> Those... Even though he was once a bandit, I permitted Elzix to take over the Desert Rain Inn. He has been quite civilized ever since. But the uh, merchants... For trade in magic and the like, see Drognan or Lysander. Drognan is the wisest man I know, without equal in magic and ancient lore. Poor Lysander is nearly deaf, but he's a reliable potion chemist. For travel back west, see Wariv, whom you already know. Our own Farah is a fine and honest armorer, and she can heal wounds as well. Elzix is the innkeeper, and may also have some items to trade. Graze, the mercenary captain I hired to secure the gates of Lut Golain, keeps order in town as well. There are others here too. I'm sure you'll meet most of them. Just look around. Right, so we missed some of the text that we had when we got that final quest. You may not pass. Okay. Well, it can't be helped. So the final quest, Seven Tombs, find Haldorash's tomb. That sucks that we missed out on that stuff. Alright, we already have the map because they've already killed everyone here, so we'll just redo that. We will, of course, raise the skeleton. Every monster should have respawned as the game has been restarted. What about the sound, by the way? I believe it should be recording. I would be surprised if it's slower than I expect it to be. I hate when I have loud sound music in, in the game and then, then when I watch the video later on YouTube, <laughs> the, the sound is so low that you can't really hear it. It's very difficult when that happens. It happened in both the One Piece game and the Dragon Ball game and then one is for the PlayStation Portable emulator and the other one is for the uh, PlayStation 1 emulator. So something was wrong there with the recording device probably. Let's uh, use the poison over. By the way, we got the evil force. No. I can't carry anymore. So we are almost out of space. Possibly. 
changes to the monsters we face or, or to, to the, the, the overall story. It's not a huge mod, only, the only mod in use is affecting only the playable character. Let's take that well. Now we have a limit. I know we, we gained some stamina. This bar is empty, we can only walk, but I will come to the end of the second battle. We took every urn and we played through this area pre previously. I am overburdened. <coughs> we will try to kill him again. Of the game. There are 
five main bosses and then there are many smaller bosses. Okay, we're done here. Uh, so we have already killed pretty much everyone here. Let's enter that stony, stony keep or whatever it's named and kill everyone again there. We already did it in the previous attempt to play this. So we have the stony tomb actually. We we'll landed there and kill everyone. We have everything we just had to do. We have enemies that will uh, um, shoot lightning bolts when you hit them. Their bodies will like uh, um, cause lightning to attack anyone that hits them. Sliding damage 1 to 40 to your attack. Ah, so I, I add 1 to 40 lightning damage to my attacks, I see. Prefer having poison, poison no. Uh, so you could try that. Have new stats too. Let's add uh, strength and energy and vitality. Here we have stone tomb level 2, we won't go there yet, I want to kill everyone first. We've already done it, yeah. It's, the place looked the same as the last time. Let's destroy these urns. And go to the next level. Ah, so it's not I believe it was uh, lightning damage to them when they attacked me physically. Let's see. I prefer Poison Noah. We've already been here, that's why it looks the same. We're killing them for the second time. Just because I want the entire game to be shown on video. I didn't want anything to be skipped because of some failure of the recording tool to record the game. But it's more difficult to know where we haven't been. Well, where we haven't had this Okay. Need more skeletons spawned. Minor boss.
this like in the I failed am episode. We'll move up there and see if they have killed them there too. Yeah. It's locked. Potion, we can throw that one out. A healing potion is always welcome. Healing potions are better than the light healing potions. We'll go for them first. By the way, I got a new sword in the Halls of the Damned, I believe, or Halls of the Fallen. Uh, Halls of the Dead, actually. I got a new sword there. Previously I had this uh, Demon Needle Trident, It has 10 to 20 damage. This sword has 6 to 19. It's slightly worse, but we have the Frit, so I prefer it. Okay. Seems to have 
sold if we enter it anywhere. So this episode will be longer than one hour because it took 58 minutes to play Holes of the, da Holes of the Damned. And uh, now we're gonna play the entire quest. So Well, it's still part of the same area, the dry hills, Move down here. Yeah, she's here, good. Let's kill the boss. 
hit. Which is good. There's a thing here too. There's a thing and it's bad. I need a key. I can't open that chest. Destroy these arms too. We will take some healing potions and place in our belt. Good, they are dead. 
overburdened. Yellow assassin. Sell it. <coughs> we need to move to the other areas that we haven't been. We can see the waypoint now. An item only an assassin can use it. I can't carry anymore. All right, let's move back to the area where we killed the mummy. Open this door. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to kind of 
destroy. I am overburdened. Okay. Okay, I want my skin to be destroyed. If we didn't anymore. have it already, we would get it here. Let's destroy the worms too. And we're done. Yeah, that's the area of the rather cube. We can now take the town portal. Town. And uh, go and speak to Farah. Mm -hmm. Atma of Little Colain. And we're done. I need to go to, to the toilet. Okay, so uh, maybe we should end here. Uh, fuck, I s wasted a potion. So we have done the first part. We have done everything required to get the cube. I guess I will continue to play uh, soon and finish the rest of the quest. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.